Hey guys, it's the 386 Fowler here. Welcome back to Saltwater Fish and Reef Aquariums. Today we're going to discuss one of the most valuable equipments that you ever buy for a reef tank. It will save you lots of money, time, effort, and that is the RODI unit. There's many different uh, brands out there. I'm going to show you uh, what mine look like, how I have mine set up, and uh, let's go take a look at it. Alright guys, this is my RODI unit that I use. Um, I've had it for about three years now, four years roughly. And this thing has saved me tons of money, tons of time. And tons of extra expenses is going to the store back and forth to the fish store when I need to top off my water for fresh water or when I'm actually doing my water changes. When you have one inside your house, you probably do water changes more frequently. It's more cheap. All you have to do is keep buying your filters, which lasts a pretty good, you know, lasts about a month, two months, depending on how much water you make. Just keep buying your salt. You do everything at home. You do it on your own time. You don't have to wait till the store opens. And uh, it's a very valuable equipment part for having a reef tank. You know, when you go buy water from the store, some, uh, Places might have their salinity at 1.25, some might have 1.2, 1.8, or 1.29. You know, you never really know. But with this, you can make your own water. You can put your salinity every time you know what you're putting inside your tank. The one of the main features of this, I always recommend if you get an RDI unit, is a TDS meter. Um, it can be portable, but I recommend getting the inline one. The inline one attaches right to your RDI unit. You get the red and white cord that goes in, and you have the blue and white cord that goes out. Now, the big uh, the debate that I see online is where to put the TDS readings at. Um, one of the more popular ones that I've seen and a lot of people go with is they run their inline right between the membrane and the RODI. So if you don't know how this works, let me just show you real fast. The water comes in from, from my, uh, my nozzle. It comes in the first chamber right here is the sediment chamber. chamber. It goes from there. It goes into the carbon block. It goes from there. It runs into the membrane, and then from there it goes into the uh, DI resin, and then it shoots it out into rubber buckets or gallon that you have. So with the TDS meter, a lot of people put it right after the membrane, right before it gets to your DI. All right, let me guys uh, tell you the reason why I do it my, this way, and I've seen a lot of people else do it. Your carbon, your carbon, and your sediment is going to keep the water clean going into the DI. Once you start reading the meter, and if your numbers go up, that means that either your membrane is getting bad or your filters are getting bad. So if your numbers is kind of high, it's going to run out your DI quickly. You know, the orange is a bad, and it normally comes in like a bluish or a black color. So if your numbers is coming in really high, it's going to deplete this, you know, real fast, no matter what kind of cartridge you have or how big your cartridge is. So that's why I have my TDS meter in line hitting right before. That lets me know I need to start changing stuff. And I have the out, which is actually always what you want. Um, my out is at zero. Every time I uh, put water, any time it starts hitting one or anything other than zero, I'm doing a, something. I'm doing a change to something. I'm changing the membrane, changing my filters. I'm doing something. You don't want anything. I don't want anything personally other than zero coming out into my tank. A lot of people can say that uh, you can have it up to two, you know, 0 0.2. And that's still safe. But, you know, I just go and get the filters and I just keep up with it. And depends. Right now I can show you, um, let's see. Uh, this is horrible. I don't think you guys gonna be able to see it. Right now it's going in at three. It's going in to the DI at three. If your numbers is hitting like 15, 20, 30, it's gonna deplete this real fast. At three, I can run probably 100 gallons through the rest of this right here. And it won't even, you know, it, it'll still be useful. But if it's at 15, 20, or some kind of high number, 10 gallons is going to run it a quarter down, or you're just going to waste a lot. And this DI gets pretty uh, expensive. So this is my old DI unit, guys. Um, I recommend, highly recommend you guys getting one on your own. It just saves you time and money. you love it. I promise you'll love it. All right, this is three, Mr. 386 Fowler here. Saltwater Fish and Reef Aquariums. You guys, uh, I keep in touch. I keep posting videos. You know, I keep you guys informed of new equipment, new merchandise, or you know, whatever kind of updates you have. If you have any questions, just comment. I'll respond. Uh, subscribe. Thank you.